think this is cool. Most of the people that film makeup videos on YouTube are kind of going with their favourite top products of 2014 as their first video this year. I am going to do one, but we're going to go with something else first because I want to mix it up and make it a bit more interesting. But I'm going to go with the first impressions. I've got something new that I want to share with you and I can't lie, I'm very intrigued by the product um, so I want to get the first impression filmed before I actually go and use it and then kind of do a fake first impressions because we don't want to see those, do we? Um, so the product in question is actually from Primark. This is in their PS Love line and it's actually a eyeshadow quad. So it looks like this. Don't know if it's got a shade name on it but it's the green one. They've, they've just got kind of like a smoky eyes one, a brownie one, a green one and possibly some others. There might be a purple one in there as well. Um, but I went for the green one, I thought it'd be fun. Um, so to start with, the packaging is really nice. It really reminds me of the Pressed Bare Minerals ones, um, so it's nice and slim. It's got a mirror. It's It did have um, some sponge applicators but I've lost those. And it includes four eyeshadows for £2, which I think is pretty good. Um, I've not even swatched these yet, so let's swatch them now. They're not super pigmented, but there is definitely some colour going on there. You can kind of see the green tones to them. They're all quite shimmery, there's no mattes in there. Um, so I think the best thing to do now is to get these on my eyes. I am going to use a primer. Um, I like to use a primer with all my eyeshadows, so I just want to use that. This one is actually from Dainty Doll. So I'm going to use a mixture of these two here on my lid. They come out more pigmented when you use a brush as opposed to your fingers on swatches. fallout onto my eye either. Hopefully that's showing up on the camera. And then just going to use this one here in my crease. This is probably the most matte one in the palette but none of them are matte. The blending's not the best but it's actually better than I expected. I kind of expected them to be really stiff and just not be able to blend them at all. I'm just going to see how buildable they are, so I'm picking up a little bit of the same colour and I'm just going to put that right into the socket, just see if we can get a bit more definition out of the shades. Actually they've applied really quite well, better than I expected, there's barely any fallout at all underneath the eyes, just a little bit on the outer corner. Um, but nothing kind of down here, which I can get from other eyeshadows. Um, they've blended quite well. The pigmentation's pretty good as well. Um, so to be honest with you, for £2, I'm not sure I could really fault these, really. Anyway, I'm going to finish off my eyes and then I'll show you what it looks like all pulled together as a full look. There we go, those are the finished eyes. I actually really quite like it. I'm quite a fan of like the olivey dark kind of green eye. Um, I think this is cool. I will come back in a few hours and let you know kind of how they're wearing, if they're smeared all over my face or creased everywhere or anything like that. Um, for the time being, I, I quite like these. See you in a few hours, guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's about five hours later now. I've now had this on for five hours. Um, and I think it's time we had a look at how it's doing. So let me zoom you in quickly. Okay, so there is a little bit of wear underneath here. Um, to be honest with you, I think that's got quite a lot to do with my eyes. They don't really hold eyeshadow underneath very well as they're quite watery, so it has worn off a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'm having some watery eye problems today. So if we have a look above the eye, we can see that there's no creasing at all, which is always a good thing. Um, and I don't think there's any fading either. It can be quite hard to tell sometimes, but I, I don't think that's faded. So overall, I think I am actually pretty impressed with this little quad, and I'm going to continue to recommend it and say that it's good. Uh, I thought I was holding that upside down then. I'm not. <laughs> 
Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. I am going to leave it there as I'm going out now. Um, so I can't really tell you any more about the wear. But it's lasted five hours and as far as I can tell, it looks absolutely like it did when I put it on, except for underneath. But as I said, I didn't usually put eyeshadow under my eyes for that reason. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. Let me know if you'd like me to do more like this. If you like what you saw, then do subscribe down below. And I will speak to you again soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.